Hey there, and welcome to the Gunner's Guild. I'm going to wrap up my fast guides with a light bow gun. The controls are exactly the same as heavy bow gun, it's just point and shoot. However, light bow gun does have a skip and slide post shooting, which I actually find more annoying than anything, but it does have its uses. Just be mindful that if you try to roll after shooting, you're going to do a short hop first. The other thing to note is that light bow gun has shorter critical distance than heavy bow gun. Also be very mindful of that. The obvious main difference between light bow gun and heavy bow gun is mobility. Light bow gun actually has insane mobility and you should rarely be getting hit when using it. The damage is actually the same for both weapons, assuming the raw is the same. There's no more raw modifiers like previous games. The clip sizes are smaller and the recoil is higher for the majority of MLs as well. Light bow gun's special MO, Wire from Blast, is actually incredibly good and should be used as much as possible, contrary to heavy bow gun's special MO. A quick explanation of MO tier and weapon tier since they're pretty much the same. So top tier is spread of course. You have to run slow reload unfortunately, as well as the Xeno set, so there's almost no room for versatility or variability. It's strong as balls, but also relies a lot on RNG. Don't bother with this unless you're comfortable with the slow stationary reloads. Normal 2 with the new Kulf Troth Light Bowgun is very very strong. This is glutton for Light Bowgun, although it still has a problem with Rapid Fire. Rapid Fire does not aim with you, and the bolts go to the initial target location. So using this on fast monsters or those with small head sizes is very hard, and honestly just wastes a lot of DPS. It can be very clunky at times. Spread 2 is just safe for Spread 3. You sacrifice some damage to gain normal reload and sleep 2s. The only downside is that it doesn't really have dragon shots. Pierce and Elemental? Each of these MOs does have their uses. Nurgan and Basil can be pierced, and Val, Diablos, and Cole can be dealt with effectively with Elemental. However, outside that, they're not really useful. Make sure you're only using one primary MO as well. Don't build for anything that has to use both normal and spread, or normal and pierce, or elemental and spread. Just pick one MO and then have like status and slicing as backup. For mods, Light Bowgun doesn't have shield mod thankfully, so just make sure you use enough recoil and reload mods to have either recoil 2 or 1 and normal or fast reload. Dump whatever mod slots you have left into close range attack. Yes, including pierce. Skills and Equipment Light Bowgun actually has a lot of diversity in ammo usage, but the main raw ammos are going to be running very similar sets. Here are the main skills you need to focus on for each of the ammo types and build around that. Fill in whatever extra slots you have with special ammo boost, peer performance, critical eye, attack boost, or it doesn't really matter too much. For the raw ammos, spread up, normal up, pierce up, whatever you're going to use, weakness exploit, free element to match the rank of ammo you're using, spare shot if you're running spare 3, and the maximum might crit boost crit eye whatever you want to use. Ballistics on pierce is mandatory and it can be used in normals if you don't have anything better to use. Elemental, elemental attack 3, weakness exploit, crit elemental, spare shot, maximum might crit eye. Just crit. Here's a few sample sets that I use that are suited for both console and PC and labeled accordingly. I use more ammo types on light bowgun. Make sure you organize your ammos by going to item pouch, click triangle to set up your item bar, and then L1 or R1 to set up ammo. Make sure you save that to your item set because that's where it saves. Again, I also put combines on the radio menu and make sure you use that. Bring typical food buff items and eat for sharpshooter for normal, otherwise only temper affects the other ammo types and it's a daily skill, so don't rely on it. That's all there is to optimal light bowgun play. Just shoot and have fun.